Howdy guys, how's it going? So it is time for another Whiskey Friday. It's been a couple weeks since we've done one of these just because I hadn't really went that often and I also hadn't really got nothing new. But I've got something that is relatively common within the bourbon scene, but for some reason, I haven't been able to find it at my local store. They haven't stocked it at my local store for like an extended period of time. And I'm talking like the past six months. And I just always skipped over it because it's on the like the budget side and there was just a lot more that I wanted uh, to try that was in front of it in terms of my personal list. But it is like, like I said, it's Four Roses uh, Bourbon. It's their, I, to my understanding, it's like their, you know, their base level, entry level. They got a couple higher. They got like a single, uh, like a single batch, single barrel. Um, and then a couple other variations. But this is one that I've definitely been wanting to try for a hot minute. Uh, as far as what it says, it's Four Roses uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Then on the back, what we got, it says, The Legend of Four Roses. Paul Jones Jr., the founder of Four Roses Bourbon, became smitten by a beautiful southern belle. He sent a, uh, he sent a proposal to her, and she replied that... Uh, if her answers were yes, she would wear a corsage of roses on her gown to the upcoming grand ball. When she showed up the night of the ball in her beautiful gown, she wore a corsage of four red roses. He later named his bourbon Four Roses as a symbol of his devout passion for the lovely bell. And then it just says all the distilled and all the government BS at the bottom, let you know what's down. And, you know, like I said, the B. A, um, when I say, you know, uh, like a budget, I mean, it's like 26 Some people consider that expensive considering you can buy bourbon that's basically just like vodka with food coloring in it for, you know, like $10. But as far as like a decent bourbon goes, this is like 26 bucks here where I live. But it's got a cork and sometimes even into like the 30 range, depending on what you got, you don't, you don't even get a cork. So I, I'm glad to see it's got a nice old pippity pop to it. And I do, gee, that smells really sweet. I hope this is not nearly as sweet as it smells. But that is like straight up vanilla. God, I, I, I'm gonna fail everybody on the nose because this time of year, man, my, like my allergies, I can't, I don't even, I can't, I can barely consume oxygen through my, not like my nostrils, much less smell, but I'm definitely getting sweetness off of that. We'll, we'll take and go ahead and pour it. That way we can get a taste of it in the, Get a smell of it, get a whiff of it, should I say first. I mean, as far as Four Roses goes, I honestly, it smells sweet, like nectar, and then floral, like flowers, aside from like the neck. Like that's, and I mean, maybe the name of it's somewhat influencing uh, me on a subconscious level, a subconscious level. And then, you know smells highly affected so I might just only be able to pick up those two things because I'm not capable of picking up anything else maybe if I snort <laughs> okay that didn't help at all um that burned a little bit on maybe that'll open up my sinuses maybe my nose will bleed here a minute it'll feel better but yeah that's all I'm getting I'm just getting almost like a, a sugar cane sweetness smell a, a nectar sweet smell like if you ever like took um honeysuckle and like sucked out like I eat the uh, the bottom of the bud I get that kind of like sweet smell and then just like floral if you got like a whiff of um I don't know flower I don't I don't know uh, what like I haven't smelled roses in a long time so I couldn't even begin to compare it to that but um yeah that's all I got so you know I mean if anything for bourbon that's not bad to get two to three solid notes even though they're very similar to one another but Let's just dive right in and get some on the old taste buds. Okay, you know what? Very, very pleased that that's not nearly as sweet as it smells. If it was as sweet as it smells, I'd be giving this to somebody as a gift because there's no, there's no way, and that's kind of. That's interesting because it kind of has like a flat flavor, like as it rolls, like I get you swallowing it rolls over your tongue. Because uh, it's a little, um, it's very thin. It's like very thin and light. Like, it's way thinner to me than 
most bourbons that I've had, um, it's like it's almost as thin as some of the even cheaper bourbons, but with a lot more flavor to it. So I can see like this for somebody that's not not really been introduced to whiskey of any kind. I can almost put this in the category not of not of flavor, but it's almost kind of like an Irish whiskey in terms of how like light it is. I mean, you don't get any of the same flavor notes that you do with at least the, the, the Irish whiskeys that I've tried, but in terms of like how palatable it is, you could easily like, I, I could easily just like swallow this right here with a mouthful. I'm not going to do that, but um, it's very, it's very easy going like on the mouth. There's not a lot, it, it, it dissipates very quickly. So it doesn't, it doesn't hang around that long, which, you know, depending on what you're looking for is either a good or bad thing. Hmm. Yeah, but it really, the, the, I mean, it does have a very floral note, like in, I, I mean, not note, but like a, a floral flavor profile to it. I feel like if I was to take some flower petals and just like rub them on my tongue, that's almost like what the aftertaste would be like, but in a good way, you know what I mean? So, um, that's honestly all I can say about it. I mean, I like it. I'll be going in for seconds and thirds with this bad boy, but um, without further ado, let's just take and hop into a match of the good old Call of Duties and uh, see what we can do while we sip on some Four Roses. Mm. All right, here we go, baby. So we're going to be rocking with that M60 LMG and the dual wheel 1911s. My teammates over there, they just got bodied. So, you know, as I was sitting here sipping this, waiting on the game to get started and everything else, I would almost, like, if somebody gave this to me, I'd be able to tell it's a bourbon. But the way that it drinks, I could just fill up a wine glass of this and sip on it the way that French people sit there and tongue kiss their wine. You know what I mean? So... You know, if you look at if you're looking for something to take and you know ease your grandma into like drinking any kind of a bourbon or whiskey or whatever, this is a good option. I mean, I can see why people like might introduce somebody to bourbon with something like with with four roses just because of how um, how tame it is. Like it's just not it's not aggressive in any way. Like you get that slight little bit of like bourbon heat on your tongue, but it doesn't it doesn't transfer into your throat. It doesn't transfer into your belly. It just like a wee bit of burn on the tip and the rear end of your tongue and other than that it just kind of rolls down your gullet like like a glass of water really so you know it's probably one of those things too you'd have to be careful with if you're if you're more along the lines of uh you know like if you're comfortable with the brown spirits you uh you, you might want to take and that's not like you know some reference to like african gods or nothing but you know if, you, if, if you're keen with the brown spirits you got you might need to take and tame yourself you know make a line on the bottle or just have somebody keep track of how much you're pouring because uh it could sneak up on you by the way once again if this is the first time you're seeing the videos uh, the Whiskey Friday deal is something that I've done a while back. I've done it every Friday, but then I've, I hear recently I've been skipping a lot of weeks just because I've been busy and my sleep schedule flips a lot. Uh, and also, whenever I wear sunglasses and play this game, I can't see anything, which is one reason why I picked this class. Because I, I picked this class so that I can stay back and uh, just get in mid-range to long-range engagements, at least as far as Nuketown's range gauge is concerned. Okay, let's take and throw this trip mine down. So we might as well camp a little bit. This is like, here's like a mini Friday vacation, if anything. We're normally out there running, gunning, grinding, shooting, tickling, poking. But right now we're trying... This, this I don't know what this scope is right now. Where's my leaderboard? Two and one. Somebody's got to be the foundation of the team, a.k.a. being at the bottom and holding everybody up. So that's what I'm doing right now. That guy at the top, he's that lightest girl that's you know, normally on the cheerleading team. And the only reason why she gets to be at the top is because she eats a slice of cheese and throws it up. You know what I mean? So I, I don't want that position right now. I'm trying to be the flipping, the actual big daddy on the bottom. There we go. See, ain't, let, ain't nobody going to be hiding behind that trash can this game like they normally do. Let's just lay down and get nice and comfortable. This ground, right, this nuclear ground looks like it's, uh, you know, maybe maybe my nipple hairs will grow an inch, like an extra inch or two by the time I uh, end up dying here. Dude, what is with this guy in that couch? That guy's been sitting there behind that couch constantly. Okay. 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 
Hey, yeah, that is that is nothing like what I expected. I hate to keep saying that, and I mean expect I, I expected it to be a little bit more. Um, I must have like a little bit more of a spice to it, you know, a little bit of Ecuadorian uh, heat, but that's not there. And I also, after smelling it, expected it to be sweet, which I'm very glad that it's not sweet. I would rather it taste like vodka, and like it paid twenty six dollars for brown vodka, than I got it and then it be as sweet as it smells. Uh, like, this thing could be an air freshener. Like, this could be something you put in your car to, uh, you know, to liven up the, the, the air particles that you're, like, snorting up your nose every time you take a breath. So, you know, keep that in mind. It probably wouldn't be a good idea to ride around with the open bottle of this in your car, though. I'm pretty sure most, uh, most, most authorities frown upon such things, even if you're not drinking it. And you don't want to have to pour out a, uh, you know, an expensive $26 bottle of, uh, a bourbon there, you know that right there. That can, can break the bank. Just taking like that guy. Up. Did I tag somebody else? Oh, oh, oh! The M60. I remember the M60 like not having a good hip fire spread, and the attachments I have on this was just made on like for a like the ADS time on this. I mean, the time it takes me to ADS, if you're like 10 yards away, you could walk up and hit me on the head with a telephone and kill me. So, like, I, I really made this as a class that's meant to, to play on longer range maps to test, like, mess around with it. So, the fact I'm using it on Nuketown, okay, you know what, we're going, we're going to use something different. Let's, uh, let's try our hand at aggressive. I mean, it's about to be in, like, the second and last round, but we might as well hop up in here and, oh, that, yep, okay, well, okay, where are they at, where are they at? I got iron sights, that's all I need, baby. Come here. But look at that, yeah. I mean, we're aggressive players, no matter what. Even if we can't see, and then what we can see is like sideways, we can still get up. I didn't, he's in a dark corner, and I got sunglasses on. That's my excuse. Yeah. I swallowed that one wrong. Hello? God dang it, trophy system, where you at? Am I dumb or stupid? That's my that's my question here. Trophy system, hello. I hate myself so much. That's how the, that's that, that's how these have a tendency to go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just a shot in the dark half the time. God, I'm gonna take out that antenna just so whenever they take and spawn over here, they can't watch SpongeBob SquarePants. You know, like, it's about winning the small battles, bro. Well, I know for a fact we didn't get play of the game. Guys out here rocking with the Molina like it's from a flipping disco party. Boop, boop, boop. What's shaking, buddy? How you doing with the purple gun? So I gotta answer this text message. Oh, not my uh, email, real quick. God dang it, I hate it when important stuff comes up whenever you're doing something. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Fast types, fast types. Done. Okay. Back in the action, baby. You out here answering emails in the middle of the Cold War, dropping bodies and dropping uh Gmails. Exactly what I was going for. Um, okay, yep. Okay, we're going to take and put that there. Get the nice little trickery going down. Is there a... Ch oh, that's an enemy grenade. My judgment's halfway off. I got two trip mines, too. So even if that... I don't. I wasn't paying attention if that destroyed what I had working for me there on the side, you know. Get Rocking that Alaskan pipeline, baby. Dropping them. Give me some mink and some muskrat. Okay, come on. Bring it in the backside. Oh, okay. Well, I guess my teammate dropped him. Bro, what is with this guy and his grenades? I feel like I'm playing against me. I'm I'm the guy that's supposed to be throwing grenades every two and a half seconds. It's funny. I, I know for a fact I've got lethals, unless like some like with multi in multiplayer that I have I haven't even used once, uh, to my knowledge, and because I'm always using frags. Get off me, you ugly woman. Jesus Christ. Go get you a god a flipping dick so do you puss. That way you can actually look halfway like you're supposed to because you already look like a man. Oh, sorry about that. She got my blood pressure up. Coming around there smacking me in the forehead, you know. 
I thought it's supposed to be men smacking women in the forehead. You know what I'm saying? By the way, it's just jokes. You know, these are just jokes. You ain't got to take and flip and mail me into CNN or whichever news network it is. It's always coming out and saying, you know, this guy took and breathed on this girl at six foot away, flipping molested her. That's not what's going down here. She hit me first. That's all. That's all that matters. Hmm. Bro, that's so thin. I keep swallowing it wrong. Huh. <coughs> Like it's not hot. It's not got any kind of like heat or like it's not no burn. None of that. It's just like it's just wet. The more I consume, the more I, I'm starting to not like it. But I'm, it's not bad. If that you know, if that makes any sense, I gave I gave her that one. I gave her that one. One thirty six to one four four. Well, see, look, we're coming back. Though. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we actually we can, we can still win this. Um, I'm just not. If I would if I could get my score streaks, I'd feel a lot better about our chances, but as of right now, our chances aren't looking too peachy. Bop got him. I kind of feel like we could probably, I swear I thought that was my teammate sliding in. To be fair, I bet we could take and go, uh, we could, we could get, we could probably get our, get our uh, score streaks if we just went on a, a little tear right here. <clears throat> you didn't hear nothing. Yeah, I don't remember if I have ghost on this class or not. I'm pretty sure I do. I normally don't not have ghost. This guy's up here. So like I said, this right here is where we take and buckle down the hatches. Get out of here, you dummy. So I can put that there. So we got, oh no, don't touch me, I'm ugly, please. I need to reload, I need to reload. Where's my teammate calmer down, buddy? Okay, yeah, they're about to cop B. Come out that corner. Yes, sir. Oh my god, we're gonna get it. We're going to get it. Oh, we're going to yeah, get it for sure. We're going to get it 10 different flavors is what we're about to get. Okay, you know what? At least we got this. So like, let's get on B, boys. Go get on B. They ain't going to be able to do nothing with it. Boom, let's, oh, yes, sir. That's what it's at. We're going to take and pull out that fat W, boys. I'm just going to try to tag them up so I can get some points right there. Jesus. Maybe we won't get it. I mean, like, we're going to win, but I mean, like, I'm just out here trying to get these score streaks. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there it is. Look, bop. Here it is, boys. 94. We get this one right up here in. Better die. So, but we're still at the bottom. At least we brought back to almost a 2.0 KD after that little deficit. I just had to take a break from using what few brain cells I have left here to, uh, you know, to, to game instead of talk as much. But anyway, and we got best play of the game. Let's go for it, Roses. Cheers to yourself, baby. What you call going in for Betty Jen right there. But anyways, guys, look, without further ado, or with, well, I mean, in conclusion, furthermore, uh, that is this week's Whiskey Friday. I've actually, and I, I did pick up a second whiskey for uh, next Friday, so, you know, we'll have to take and put that back and save it till next week. But there will be another uh, video popping off next week, so be looking forward to that if you like the whole Whiskey Friday situation. And if you knew, like I said, it's just a little fun, little mix-up. But, uh, but, yeah, so... Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit me up in the comments for any thoughts, opinions, suggestions on any whiskeys that I haven't tried yet. If you want to know what I've tried so far, on, on I, I haven't covered all the ones I've ever tried by any means, but like the ones that I've tried on video, just go on my channel to the little uh, magnifying glass and search up Whiskey Friday, and it'll show it'll bring up all the episodes that we've done on like with this, um, and then you'll know what I've done video wise. 
And it doesn't have to just be, I prefer whiskey, but if you have like, if you know like a really good rum, or really good tequila, or any other kind of spirit or beverage, then recommend that, and I would put it on the list, and I would get around to it as my taste allows. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, once again, comments, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Look at the links in the description of my other channels because the HQ channel, I just got a hammock and a new sleeping pad in today, so I'm going to be trying to do some camping here over the next couple days. And, uh, you know, we'll have all that popping off. So, yep, subscribe, share friends, and until the next one, adios.